Yeah, so one of the challenges that uh, developers of new applications are facing these days is that uh, there's a tremendous increase in the amount of data that's involved. And so scalability becomes a real challenge because uh, with traditional database technology, as the amount of data grows, uh, especially under concurrency from lots of users, um, then the, the joint operations and things that are taking place inside uh, that traditional relational storage technology gets slower and slower because basically they're doing set-based operations across these increasingly uh, larger sets of information. And so that changes a little bit in the Versant database. Um, we, we allow you to uh, augment some of that uh, traditional sort of join operations through uh, what we call navigation that occurs in the client space. And that allows you to achieve scalability um, through architecture in ways that are uh, not impossible but more difficult to achieve with relational technology. So because we manage identities in the application space and let you um, use these uh, what we call LOIDs, logical object identifiers, to move from one object to another, instead of actually having to calculate joins at runtime, um, you can distribute objects across lots of physical nodes and use that to scale out uh, your infrastructure as the amount of data grows in your application space. Uh, so taking that approach allows you to achieve much higher levels of scalability. And all of these things, even though they're spread out across lots of physical nodes, are all interconnected and linked together um, as, as one in-memory model in the runtime space. So we see this in, in, in a lot of our customers um, who are using the Versant technology uh, to achieve large scale. I mean, just one common example, um, uh, Verizon, who uh, builds a fraud detection systems for their networks on the Versant database. Um, they have this kind of challenge where they're taking in all of these events are coming in off the network from a different calling cards being used, et cetera. And they take all this information, they dump it into databases, and it's so much tremendous volume of, of information that they have to put it into lots of physical databases. And so those databases are kind of constantly filling up and rotating. But all the algorithms downstream need to look at that data as aggregations and as complete models to sort of build cases against what is, in fact, a fraud. And so even though you've got all this tremendous amounts of data being dumped into these bunch of physical, physically separate databases, the applications downstream can go in and grab one object out of a physical node and then uh, look, looking at that object, talking to that object, uh, cause um, other objects and other physical nodes to be then automatically pulled into the cache. And it all looks like it's all seamlessly connected together as if it's one in-memory model, yet it's actually physically distributed across lots of nodes uh, to give you scalability. And that's a very unique thing that um, is, is really only offered in object database technology and uh, is done particularly well in Versant uh, because of the way that we uh, manage things under, under high concurrency through um, you know, low-level um, isolation of interactions um, through basically record level, the equivalent of record level locking, uh, object locking, which is uh, a unique property of the Versant implementation of an object database.